Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of March. I am using the deck of the Gilded Tarot and one card from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels. If you're new to my channel or if you're a current subscriber, the way I do my readings is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. If more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck and I shuffle till the one card falls out. It is a general reading. It is not meant for every Sagittarius out there. If you want to get a private reading, you can always email me and I will get back to you within 24 hours on how to purchase a reading and um, have the reading out to you at the very maximum five days. Okay. All right. So I'll start shuffling the cards a little bit about myself. I am a clairsentient, clairvoyant. I read people. I read energy. So... I'm very good at that. That's where I shine. That's where I do my best work. I can pick up um, the feelings, emotions of all parties involved in a relationship with being a clear sentient. I can feel past, present, and future. Um, where the relationship's going to go, why it's where it's at. I can feel if they're committed. I can feel if they're in love. You know, I can feel your insecurities, all of the above. I'm pretty good at that. About 90% accurate when it comes to reading people. All right, what are the messages for Sagittarius for March? Sagittarius for March. We have the Three of Wands. Messages for Sagittarius for March. Sagittarius for March. Messages for Sagittarius for March. The world that just came up for Scorpio right in that spot Sagittarius for March seven of swords Sagittarius for March Sagittarius for March Sagittarius for March what are the messages for Sagittarius for the month of March Sagittarius for the month of March. Wheel of Fortune. Sagittarius for the month of March. We have the Tower. <clears throat> Sagittarius for the month of March. Knight of Wands. Sagittarius for the month of March. And then we have two of cups. Haven't seen this card in a coon's age. <laughs> many, many moons since that card has come up. Okay, so we have the three of wands. That card signifies the energies between the two of you. And the three of wands is about action, manifestation, success. Whatever you're manifesting is coming true. You're going to have success. Keep manifesting. You're very close to your destination and you, your wish is manifesting now. This three reveals success and self-expression so the dreams begin to take form. Really good news. It's either a new project, romance, or trip materializing. It also can predict, predict a wedding. All right. So keep up the manifestations. It's working for you, Sagittarius's. All right. Then we have what you want. There's the world card. It's completing a goal, life, or lesson. What do you want? You want to complete this manifestation, complete the um, uh, the goal, complete the relationship, start moving forward. You know, so this is about completions. This is what you want. What do they want? We have the Seven of Swords. To me, this is a fear. All right. Um, they, this is also a card of affairs. Um, betrayal, dishonesty, running away, divorce. Maybe... This could be a third-party situation. They could be involved with somebody else wanting that divorce, wanting to have that affair with you. 
wanting to be involved with you. Okay. What you need is Wheel of Fortune. So this on their mind. You're on their mind. And you're being tempted. There's the Wheel of Fortune. What you need, you need a change. This card talks about it's going to be, it's a, it's good fortune and it's a turning point. You need a turning point in this relationship. It's slow going. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we have the tower. What do they need? They need to make some big changes. Big changes. As in, this talks about death, birth, marriage, divorce, being single, going to marriage, you know, um, moving, quitting a job. These are big, big changes. They need to make a change in their life. And the tower also represents a secret relationship. And it represents, um, let's see here, where are we? Number 17. There's a key word here. Uh, it, it's it's uh, breakthroughs, revelations, it's destruction, it's shock. This is an intense attraction or a relationship secret. So there could be something going on here between the two of you. And it's not really for the world to see, but you're manifesting this. It's happening slowly but surely. This is, they want to make this change. I just, they need to make this change. They need to make this change because this is an intense attraction with you. All right. Here we have the Knight of Wands. How you see them. The Knight of Wands is someone who's very spirited, free-spirited, passionate, creative. Um, there's passion here between the two of you. Lots of passion. And how do they see you? Two of Cups. Two of Cups is a minor marriage card. It's romantic love. It's partnership, proposal, marriage. They These two people are equal. They're looking at each other in the eye. It's connecting mind, body, and soul. This is how they see you. They see you as this soul mate. There's a strong, strong bond here between the two of you. It's a strong connection. Okay. All right. Let's see what card comes up. Oh, here we go. Right away. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Whose marriage? Their marriage? Does it involve marriage between the two of you? depending on the situation, but it does involve marriage. All right, there you go. That is the reading for all of you Sagittarius's out there. I hope this reading helps you keep manifesting. You're close. You're getting to your goal. All right, thank you for watching, subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting. And again, if you'd like to purchase a private reading from me, email me and I will send you um, information and I will have the reading out within five days. All right, thank you for watching. Have a great month. Bye-bye.